okay guys so in this video i'm collaborating with chord mad tutorials this channels and the performance link will be in the description and in the pinned comment so go check that out first and then come back for the tutorial so that you can understand the trick better make sure to subscribe to him as well he is an amazing magician with a variety of chord tricks in his channel go and check out and subscribe now let's go to the tutorial first so you need 27 cards and I have taken 27 cards here as you can see. Now you are going to divide these 27 cards into 3 piles each containing 9 cards. As you can see just like this. Now once you are done your spectators could select any of these 3 piles they want. It depends on them okay. Let's say they go for this pile here. And they could think of any of the cards which they want in this pile. Okay. It's up to them. And now let's say when you're performing this trick in real life, the magician should not know what card is your spectator thinking of. But for the YouTube purpose, let's say they're thinking of the four of clubs. I'm going to squad them up and shuffle it. As you can see. And loose it into the deck. Make sure, guys, the shuffle pile, which is your spectator's pile, in which they have the selection, should always go on the top of the deck. Now, you're gonna divide the deck into three piles, just like this, and have the spectator guess on which card, on which pile is their card in. Okay? It doesn't matter if they go around. Just tell them that. You, we have three rounds and we will see how many times do you guess your card correctly. Let's see they guess this pile here. And we don't have the four of clubs. So you're going to tell that you've lost the first round but we still need to know on which pile is your card. And let's say they guess this pile. And yep, their card is there. And remember guys. In whichever pile their card is that that should go to the top of the deck. Okay. You will do this three times th three times and here is the second time as you can see. And now let's say the spectator gets this pile here and we don't have the four of clubs, so you can tell that you'll have the second time as well. Let's say they guess this pile once again and we do have the four of clubs right there we will do this one last time as you can see and they are gonna once again guess one two three in which pile is their card in okay let's see now they guess the third pile this one and we don't have their card so you will tell them that you are really bad in guessing your card let's see they guess this pile and we do have the four of clubs here remember once again the pile containing their card should always go to the top of the deck now this part of the trick is completely self-working okay their card is always going to be in the 4, 7 position from the top when you do this 3 times. The only thing you need to remember is whichever pile their card is there, in whichever uh, pile is their card is there, that should go to the top. And if you do this correctly, it should always be in the 7th place on the top. As, as, you, as you should have seen in the performance, your spectator generally say start during 7th place but it may not work every time so what you can do here is you can tell that I'm gonna feel the atmospheric waves and it's telling me that your card is in the 7th place from the top you could do either that way or if their birthday is in the 7th or anything like that you could just use the concept to show the 7 card I can show you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is your card like that 
or you could just tell them that I'm able to feel the atmospheric waves and it's telling me that your card is in the seventh place from the top and you want to just reveal sorry not this one just reveal that their card is here so or if you're pretty confident you could do this and just show them that the seven card is sorry the seven card is your what the seventh card is your card it's generally the fact that your spectator says stop during the seventh or eighth card so yeah so i hope you like the tutorial for this trick and yeah make sure to check out card man tutorials channel i am pretty sure that most of you watching the tutorial are indeed coming from his channel only so thank you for that so subscribe to both of us and thank you see you next time